there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. So, um, this is part three of the DT25 HD range connection, kind of what these motherfuckers will do together video set. Um, we did one and two last year, we've been on tour and been quite busy, so we apologise for the break in the uh, videos. But we're back with just the, the concluding part, and hopefully it's going to be a little bit better than Back to the Future 3. We'll see what happens. I didn't mind Back to the Future 3. Back to the Future 2 was well the best, though. Yeah, but Back to the Future 3 has got ZZ Top on it. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but uh, old ZZ Top. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking a ZZ Top at the minute. <laughs> um, yeah, so apologies for my... Um, my tumness, my filthy tumness. Right, so guys, so HD500, we've got now. Uh, we had the HD300 in part two. We ran that through some shit. You can check that out by just fumbling over the foot controller on that HD500. Um, or you can do it by finding it on this fret here. And then part one is right next to it. Check that shit out for fucking technology. Right, dudes, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at, there's been a lot of com uh, kind of connectivity issues online and stuff, so we're just going to make sure that that uh, makes perfect sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect a XLR to the HD500 here, and then we're going to connect the XLR to the DT25 here. Then what we're going to do is we are going to turn on the power by putting this power cable in. Here, which I fucking hate because it should have an on switch, but it hasn't. Right, guys, so now we are locked in. We have connected all our um, shit. We've done it all in standby mode on the amp, and we've powered it up by putting the crappy power lead in. Amp in standby here. Yep. <laughs> so, we're now ready to go. Um, we have kind of filtered through we've gone through our hd 500 and we have gone to the best of hd 500 and we have pressed enter and um, for some reason it, there you go so and we've gone to 6d which is our bomber uber um preset now straight away this is going to be kind of set up for studio direct so it'll sound a little bit fizzy and a little bit horrible, so this is what it sounds like straight out of the back. Yeah. Um, if you like Stormborn, you're going to love that one here. Yeah, so very, very fizzy, very old school Metallica. <laughs> bit weird, cutting out a little bit, kind of sounds a little bit dank. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to press the view button once, which brings us into our deep edit kind of screen. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to go to the amp block. So we know it's the amp block because it looks like a little amp and it's very kind of easy to look at, very easy to see where we're up to with it. And what we're going to do there is we are going to um, press the one, uh, rotate the one retissimat. Yeah, that's right. Check out the zoom video. Um, Retissimat until it says Uber Pre because we're plugging direct into an amp, we don't want full um, modeling, we just need a pre model. And we can hear the little uh, DT25 clicking away in the background, it certainly does. Plus, what you'll notice as well is I'm running through a Marshall 2B12 and a Mesa 4B12, as we do with most of the reviews to keep everything consistent. So, I don't want uh, a cab emulator on there, so I'm now going to go to Retissimat 2. That's Retissimat, trademark Paul Glover, Chris Vivi, 2012. And I'm going to roll that back to no cab because these guys are good enough to do the job. Um, so now it's going to sound like this. Just a little bit better straight out the bat. It's kind of taken away a little bit of that digital fizz. It just kind of sounds instantly just a little bit more kind of true. Um, right, so that's straight away what we've done is we've kind of instantly accessed that point of the eq that will because it's quite a complicated piece of kit even though people say it's quite easy to use a lot of you guys are missing the trick um, and i was as well when i first took these two up it took me a while really and i've been a line six um, user for some time now i thought it'd be really quite easy so now that we've nailed that down what we're going to do is we're going to keep our finger pressed down on the view button 
what that brings us into is our setup page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial across until I get to mode. And in that mode, I'm going to select, because I'm using the DC25 head, I'm going to select stack power amp. Not front or combo, but stack power amp. And what that does is it just configures the EQ curve so that it, it, it's basically using minimal modeling. It's just using the preamp. Um, now again, there's a lot on the forums that just isn't answered, and I can't find a video on YouTube that discusses this type of stuff really. So you do that, and then you press Enter, View, and now you're back into your your amp, and it's preamp, it's no cab, and you've got yourself your actual amp sound. <laughs> So we're there, we've got what we're after. Now what we can do is obviously we can go into the edit screen and we can select the sound that we want. Now for me that seems a little bit harsh, so let's take the presence and the treble down a bit. Start adding my effects as per what I need for, for solos or reverbs or whatever, and whatever effect I can use. Um, take keep it in mind that all my time based effects are going to live after the amp, so they're going to be after the amp block. So I'll drop in by pressing one, I will drop in a delay, and it's going to be a digital delay. Though, um, though the dynamic delay on this is absolutely awesome. Um, and I'm going to use Retissima 3 to select mix. I'm going to drop the mix down to maybe 30%. <laughs> that still kind of sounds a bit fizzy, but more a case of being the, the amp sim, really. If I um, change, change the amp to a tread plate, pre, take the modeling for the cabinet off, turn the volume down because it's loud as all shit. sounds very very good again we'll get a lot of axe effects to owners line six haters who will give a shit in the comments that's okay man um as a i'm a kid who's just bought a hd 500 and dt 25 this is the easiest route to win just kind of plug it in make sure that your amp is set to pre make sure that you're keeping hold of the view button to select power amp um, stack power or combo power if you're running the 2B12. And what we uh, if you're on the combo, and what me and Chris have noticed is when you put it in the combo mode, you get just like a bit of a, a low end boost and um, to make up for the 1B12, I suppose. But with a 4B12 Messer and a 2B12 Marshall, I've easily got enough low end. Um, and that's it, add effects to your taste. Um, and that should see you right. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, and that's about it. So enjoy your DT. Uh, 25 and HD 500 and um, like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video take it easy fuck faces <laughs>